what is deterministic harm? A deterministic view of harm. Harm seems to imply that something is happening that should not happen. Something is happening that is undesirable. Well, when you look at things like should and desire in a deterministic universe, they don't really work. Um, unless, of course, we have the extra ingredient of agency. Agency meaning we have the means of acting on what is happening in the universe, or even reacting to it. Harm requires agency. No agency, no harm. It's an interesting thought, and uh, Schlock of God's video has really gotten one thinking on this sort of thing. It's gotten me thinking. Um, it's gotten me thinking on uh, uh, a total reevaluation of Benatar's basic premise. It's it's kind of become a bit of a detour here because that wasn't the original purpose of this series of videos. But I think that when we do have agency and harm um, compared and contrasted or whatever you want to say, when we bring all of these things or both of these things into the equation, it does fundamentally change everything. Um, and uh, it, uh, it actually does end up um, affecting the fundamental thrust of the series of videos that I'm making, antinatalism and depression. Um, if you're depressed about the deterministic nature of the universe, that, that, is, that means that you are invoking or using agency, because depression is a value judgment. Depression is an evaluation. You can't have evaluation without agency. That might be the way out of the asymmetry and the negative implication of existence. Thank you.